Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to use our M16 V2 board to mount the power distribution box, the loaders, voltage, the power and the current. But we have designed the Home Assistant add-on plug-in so that you can use this to your mobile phone at the same time. So this video I will show you how to use this M16 V2 board, uh, work with Home Assistant and work with the Tuya mobile phone for remote mount by internet at the same time. Okay, you can see uh, this is our power distribution box because that have installed the KC868 server. It's a Raspberry Pi 4 inside and I have installed the Home Assistant in this box. And this warm heater uh, for testing the load. And this M16 V2 board and you can see uh, this is a display. I have showed the temperature sensor and the humidity, just this is the temperature and humidity sensor and the voltage, uh, this three channel voltage this I have connect 220 volt I just connect uh, with this power supply directly so this is 220 volt and this channel I have connect with 380 volt actually it have output 390 volt so I have used a transmit transfer you can see uh, this 220 volt in this transfer and this output is 380 volt so that sometimes if you use three phase the voltage will be different uh, this have three channel of voltage power voltage input and this is a CT sensor I have used one of CT sensor to testing the power line of this this product uh, this I will be uh, turn on later and uh, this is my mobile phone you can use the Tuya smart or use the smart life uh, because my Tuya license is China so this time I have used this Tuya application and you can see uh, that we will see the voltage uh, 225 and 390 because the voltage actually is high I have uh, changed it and you can see this is a button, you can change the display, uh, this AC3, because I have not connect, you can click. So you can see the AC2, uh, this voltage, and click, uh, you can see it can change which channel, the AC, uh, that is 228, uh, 25 volt, that will be changed. So this is on the board. And you can see, I can turn on this one, okay, and let it become hot. Uh, this become hot. Uh, this you can see that the CT clamp uh, use this 10 ampere one volt. Just connect with this line, and also you can see here. Just to fix it. And you can use this seat clamp uh, to connect with this power line. So you can detect different channel. Okay, uh, you can see uh, the voltage and the current is update. You can see here. And uh, this is the temperature, humidity, and temperature and humidity. And this is the current. And also we can see here in Home Assistant web page, uh, you can see. Uh, this is 3000 watt that have running and uh, as a ampere that current one ampere is almost uh, 14 ampere so this is how to monitor the sensor state and the voltage and the power and the current in home assistant and also you can see it have used the Tuya mobile phone it can, can remote monitor because you can, I can use this 5G so I have disabled the Wi-Fi I will show you because it will work with the internet so you can see uh, you can choose which board this is Tuya controller and this you can see uh, that have update every some seconds just pay configure in ESP home okay let's look at the ESP home how to configure it Okay, let's look at this in our phone. 
have this M16V2 config YAML for ESP Home, but it can use the Tuya app. So you can see the web page and this is Tuya mobile phone. And how to use the Tuya lessons, just you can see here at uh, this link, because you need to pay the money to Tuya, just only five US dollars, uh, no time limit. Every day you can use it. Uh, I think it's cheap uh, because only five US dollar. Okay, we can go on. You can copy these three files uh, to your Home Assistant ESP Home folder. So just download these three files, just this, this zip file, have this three file. You can see here, I can use the file edit. And you can see, click here, config ESP Home. And create the folder, the MPT 101B, and just use this upload upload the file and this three file so you can see uh, just this three file if you download this zip file and unzip you will get this three file and this is the config yaml file so that uh, all at here and also you can download this this zip file just this config file directly so you can see at here esp home and m16v2 and this is sensitive uh, you can change it because we have changed for our m16 v2 board uh, use this one if the actual voltage is sometimes not right you can change this value we have Arduino code uh, for for celebration uh, this this one and you just need to replace this two year information for yourself just because every board have different product ID, different device ID, and different secret. So you can just do as this web page, uh, how to get this to your lessons and send information to us. So if you don't want to use the to your mobile phone, so you can just uh, delete it, not need to use it. And others, you can see just for display, LCD display, and uh, the voltage and this is a sensor temperature humidity sensor and this is for the adc uh, analog input for the 16 channel current detect so this all have uploaded in our phone you can directly to use so that you can see here and this tuya this color is for tuya that every 15 seconds will upload to tuya mobile phone so if you want a more fast, you can change this number. Uh, for example, 10 se seconds or 8 seconds. If you want, uh, uh, let it sm slowly, uh, you can change to 1 minute or 30 minutes. Okay, it's up to you. So this we have make the plugin files uh, for M16V2 board so that you can use this Tuya and use this Home Assistant at the same time. Okay, thanks for watching.